So I just want to do a quick video about a switching relay and uh, what this is and how it works along with a boiler system. So this is a Honeywell unit that I have just laying around here in the shop, a four zone. So we're just going to open this up, take a peek inside. Uh, Honeywell actually has this little cardboard cover that covers up the circuitry here with all your labels on it of all the corresponding connections. So we'll just pull that right off here. Um, as I said, this is a four zone switching relay. So this um, would be used to in a system without zone bells. So you would actually use this on a system if you had a circulator pump on every zone. Um, a zone controller for zone valves would, instead of having individual power for each circulator, it would have connections for a zone valve. And typically there'd be four connections, two to power the motor to turn it, and two wires to for the end switch on the zone valve. I won't get into that as much on this video as this one's just gonna be covering the switching relay. They work very similarly. Um, and all of them have, all different brands have pretty much the same connections and the same labels on it. Um, so they're, they're pretty straightforward to wire. This one has all the labels right on the circuit board. So up top here is where you're gonna wire in your thermostats for zone one, two, three, and four. Down here is going to be the 120 volt power that you'll feed to this, and that's going to supply the power to each individual circulator. That's done with a relay here on the board. So when a thermostat calls for heat for a specific zone, it's going to send power to the circulator for that corresponding zone. There's also going to be a connection on all these to tell the boiler to fire up. Since your thermostats are coming right into here and turning on your circulators, the boiler also needs to know to fire up. And in the case of a combi, it would have a primary pump inside of the boiler, and that needs to fire up as well. So this connection right here, labeled TT, is what you'd wire over to your boiler to get that fired up. Um, there's a couple other connections on here that could be used for other things. Um, but for now, that's pretty much the basics. And this unit can actually also do a priority zone. So what that means is, and there's some switch right here that you could turn priority on or off. Let me zoom in here. Um, and what that'll do is, if you look on here, zone one is priority. So if you had a circulator that was specifically for an indirect water heater, or even just a heating zone that you wanted to take priority over all other heating zones, if you switch that on and you wire that up to the zone one priority, what will happen is if there's a call for heat for any of these zones, one, two, three, and four, but this one calls, it'll shut off all these zones and it'll prioritize just this zone, which would mean that the boiler will be able to put all of its energy towards just heating that specific zone. You typically do that a lot with an indirect heating tank for domestic hot water because you want all of that BTU capability of the boiler to just go directly to that water heater and heat up all that water as fast as it possibly can. Once that's satisfied and this no longer has a call for heat, the remaining zones that had a call for heat will continue and pick back up and those circulators will then turn on. I uh, hope this was a good little inter or, uh, overview of how a switching relay works. These come in various uh, number of zones, anywhere from one to usually about six. There's also, if you have more than six zones, they usually have specific uh, models that are expandable so that you don't have to wire the TT over to the boiler and you don't have to keep wiring the same things. So there will usually be just another connection on the board that would say extend and you'd wire over to another one of these units. Um, like I said, the brands are all a little different, but they, they all work pretty much similar. So I don't usually use these Honeywell's ones. I use Take on all my systems, but uh, again, they all sort of work the same. So if you have any questions about this, and if you also, I'm going to be making a video uh, going over a zone controller, a little bit different than the switching relay, somewhat similar. Um, any questions at all, leave them in the uh, comments. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe. we got a lot of cool videos about boiler builds, all sorts of stuff. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next one.